Shake it. I'm with Keith Rennie at IO Gear, and uh, we're talking about KVM switches. And um, one of the points of reference that I have is now I find out about six or seven years old, just using simple VGA monitors and a keyboard, switching back and forth. And it looks like KVM switches have come a long, long way in the past few years. Well, yes, they have, Andy. Uh, one of the things you're used to, a, maybe a two port and all it did was use uh, the keyboard, mouse, and, and video. Okay, well what has happened now, uh, people are incorporating sound, and now we've gone to another standard called DVI, uh, higher resolution, a lot of the Mac people are using uh, uh, KVMs that have DVI connectivity, but one of the problems that they have, most of the KVMs that are on the market that, are DV, that support DVI right. are single link. So if they want to use the Mac 30-inch monitor or larger monitors at the higher resolution that DVI supports, it starts separating and pixelating so they don't get the quality. And so what IO Gear has done, we've come out with our GCS 1782, which is a two-port DVI dual-link KVM. So is it a bandwidth problem when you have a single link? Uh... I'm not quite sure how that technology works, but yeah, it's probably a bandwidth problem. Most of the products out there are single link. The ones that are dual link are supremely priced. Um, and what we've done, we've, we've taken that, engineered it down to so a point where it's very affordable. So you're making, you're making a two-port, uh, a two-channel uh, DVI link uh, more affordable for the uh, average consumer that has this new interface. Yes, and we're ladening it with features. It has an abundance of features. For example, it supports USB 2.0 so that we can place additional products like a, a drive, a flash drive, a hard drive, and share that between the two computers, and it independently switches. So you can share your hard drive, a printer, a scanner. Okay. Uh, in addition, and what's key here is because a lot of people are using these in home theater environments, right, right. we also support 7.1 surround sound. So you've got the flexibility of USB devices from the computing side, but it's more integrated with the, uh, with the home theater entertainment. Correct. And as you can see here, we have a set of uh, 7.1 surround sound speakers, and uh, it has a price point of about $399. Is it, is it available now, or is this something no, to be introduced? This is something that's going to be introduced when? within about the next, uh, let's say, the middle of February. Okay. We're looking at the first quarter. How could, could people find out more? What is your website? Uh, www.iogear.com. And what's the price point going to be? About $399 for a two-port. Yes, and our KVMs come with cables. They, okay, and that's an important that's an important detail, isn't it? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Well, congratulations Thank on your you innovation me. award, Keith. It's been great to talk with you. Have Thank a good you, show. Kick it.